A BC Paralympic athlete is getting a second chance to compete at a world level, but this competition will be a lot different. As CTV Shannon Patterson reports, he'll be performing what you might consider ordinary tasks using an extraordinary piece of technology. Danny Latain is training for his second Olympics. I competed for Canada in the 1992 Paralympic Winter Games. But this one is a little different. It's the 2016 Cybathlon and uh, it's the first cyborg Olympics in the world. We're competing against eight teams uh, to complete six tasks of activities of daily living in under eight minutes. Latane will be wearing this first-of-its-kind bionic hand created by SFU researchers and a Vancouver prosthetics company that responds to tiny muscle movements in the arm. As they think about doing a certain motion and as they, their forearm does that certain motion, the hand actually follows. Latane's team came second to Austria in a trial run last summer. We only had the arm for one week when we went to Zurich for the trial. We completed the course in just over six minutes. Ah, uh, one. That's okay. That's okay, Daddy. The team has six months to perfect the hand before the Cybathlon in October. I think we have a very good shot to bring the gold to Canada. That would be redemption for Latane, who finished fourth at the Paralympics. You want to win? Oh, yeah. You bet. You think you got a chance? Yes, very, very much so. The best technology, the best trained person has the best chance. He's worn a hook prosthetic since losing his arm in a rail accident 35 years ago. For now, this hand is only for competition, but he's ready to go bionic. The future with this hand and this arm is unlimited. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Burnaby.